Hi, Logan here for Vacman.com, and today we're going to be doing a review and test of the Shark Rotator Powered Lift Away Canister Vacuum. Uh, this vacuum retails for $299 at the time of recording, and it is Shark's first canister model in years, so let's put it to the test. Overall, I found that it does a pretty good job on carpets, but um, in typical vacuum style, why don't we just do a little test here? I have some oats, so let's just Pretty glass of oats. That's a lot of oats, but you know, not a big deal. And then we got some uh, little Cheerios here. We're gonna throw some of these out. Nice little mess right there. And let's take a look at how this machine does. Now I should probably adjust the camera here so you could see those. And let's see if I could zoom in on those. Without it getting too dark. There we go. Well, let's give it a go. Now, as you can see, it did get the majority up during the first pass. However, there were still a lot left. Um, I'm going to go over that with one or two more passes and see if it can get everything up. As you can see, it did take a good deal of work to get those up fully, but um, that is pretty par for the course for this machine. Zoom back out again. And tilt back up. And let's talk about some of the other features of this machine. Now, the big uh, selling point for this machine is that it makes it much easier to do stairs compared to conventional canister vacuums. As for doing stairs, you simply remove the wand, remove the wand on both ends, connect the handle directly to the power head, and then you can use the lift away function here to have access to the canister in one hand and the power head on the other. Well, the only problem is that it's very heavy on both hand on both ends. So yes, you're removing the weight of the wheels and the wand, but it's still extremely heavy compared to some other vacuums, especially the Shark Rotator Powered Liftaway Professional Upright Vacuum, which in liftaway mode is much lighter than this machine and much easier to do stairs. So. Um, the whole reason for this machine to be bought, which is easy stair cleaning, doesn't really work out. Um, it's possible to do it, but in reality, this is the base unit is very heavy, and uh, the power head isn't too light either, so you're really not getting a big benefit here over many other vacuums on the market, which um, makes it a very poor choice in terms of vacuuming. In addition, unlike a lot of other canisters on the market, with like the Dyson or Samsung canisters, which make it very easy to turn, this machine is not very easy. And if you want to turn around, oftentimes it will go back up on its back two wheels, and twice I have flipped it over in just standard cleaning. So it's not a super stable canister vacuum. I'm not a big fan of this machine, and I do believe that for the exact same price, you can go get the Shark Rotator Powered Liftaway Professional Vacuum, which does a much better job, and overall does um, a better job cleaning, and a much better job ergonomically. In addition, that vacuum can also be transformed into a canister. So there's really no reason for this product to exist, being that another product in the Shark line does, has the exact same canister functionality. Um, so overall, I really cannot recommend this machine. 
I'd have to give it a 5 out of 10 because it does do a pretty good job um, of hard floor cleaning, a decent job of carpet cleaning, but in terms of attachment use, in lift away mode it's very heavy, which makes it not uh, too easy to use. It's very bad when you go to turn corners, in addition um, it doesn't go down hallways very well and it tends to, with the way the front swivels, tends to hit the walls and other things along the, uh, along the floor. And there are just so many other better choices in the canister market today that there really isn't a reason to purchase this machine, especially for the price point. So this has been Logan here for Vacuum.com. Thanks for watching.